Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming on such a beautiful day, for being inside with us. Uh, so this year we took uh, the film festival one step further and we created this panel, which I hope will be an annual event, um, a part of the Vancouver Turkish Film Festival. Um, thank you, SFU, for making this happen. And um, thank you for being here. I, I would like to quickly introduce uh, the topic and then our, our panelists. So, um, this, uh, as you, how many of you are familiar with the show, The Magnificent Century? Okay, so that's half the audience. So, ever since, actually, Thomas would say that the interest in neo ottomanism started in the 50s. But I, my observation is that um, ever since that show was on, there has been a lot of interest in Ottomanism and the new Turkey. And so our panelists are going to talk about these developments and complications and how do we make sense of our Ottoman past in the 21st century. I'd like to quickly introduce our panelists. And uh, because we also want you to speak at the end to ask questions. So I want to make sure we have time for that. So, right here, Dr. Selim Kuru um, from University of Washington. Thank you for coming all the way from Seattle. I said that he's number one in his field in Ottoman poetry and literature, but he told me he's number two. Yeah. <laughs> he's number one. I, 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 I will keep it this okay. <laughs> So, Dr. Selim Kuru is an associate professor at the University of Washington, Seattle. He received his PhD degree in Near Eastern Languages and Civilization from Harvard University in 2000. Quite impressive. He is the chair and director of Turkish and Ottoman and Persian and Iranian Studies programs. Dr. Kuru's work focuses on Ottoman 14th and 16th centuries. Anatolian literary history, textual studies, genres with respect to the topic of love, mysticism, and its place in the elite Ottoman society. Wow. And then here's Dr. Thomas Kuhn, Thomas Kuhn, I should say. He is, uh, Dr. Thomas Kuhn is an associate professor in the Department of History at Simon Fraser University, and he's an associate member of the Stavros the Archos Foundation Center for Hellenic Studies. He's educated in Freiburg. Good thing I was in German, I don't know how to pronounce that. But probably didn't know how to pronounce the one before. Stavros. Stavros Niakos. Uh, Stavros Niakos. <laughs> and he was educated at Oxford and New York University. Thomas King specializes in the political, social, and cultural history at the of the Ottoman Empire and Turkey, as well as in the comparative history of colonialism in the modern Middle East. He's the author of numerous articles in scholarly journals. His first book titled Empire, Islam, and Politics of Difference, Ottoman Rule in Yemen uh, from 1849 till 1919. It was, it was uh, published by Real Academic Publishers in the fall of 2011. His current re uh, research centers on the culture and politics of Ottoman imperial rule with, with a particular concern for the Mediterranean regions and Arab borderlands of the Ottoman Empire. He has traveled widely in the Middle East and has done extensive research in Turkey, Lebanon, Yemen, and the United Kingdom. He has, uh, he has received numerous research grants and uh, and during the academic year uh, in 2015 and 16, he also served as the director of SFU's Center for the Comparative Study of Muslim Societies and Cultures. So beyond his academic work, Thomas has commented on current Middle East politics, on CBC, Public Radio International, and Global TV, BC. And Arlen, who's the we're gonna lose you to University of Chicago pretty soon. Um, Arlen is a, a historian of the Ottoman Empire. He completed his bachelor's at Simon Fraser with a focus on Middle East and Islamic history, a master's. He also completed his master's, you just completed your master's in Ottoman history in 2017. Um, while Arlen, sorry, 
Arlen's focus lies in the Ottoman world and on the Ottoman dynasty. His work is more generally concerned with the ways that the social and cultural presence of dynastic, dynastic institutions colored with experiences and worldviews of persons who inhabit, inhabited their um, perspective imperial domains. And he will begin his PhD program soon in Near Eastern Studies at the University of Chicago. And uh, we're going to follow you. <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry I should have memorized this, but uh, <laughs> you guys have uh, quite a resume. So I will give the microphone, uh, well, you have your own microphone, to Thomas Kuhn, uh, uh, the moderator today, or and then um, they will each speak for 15 minutes, and uh, we will receive questions and comments from you guys. Okay? Thank you.